Hello everyone. The Swedish army has developed an excellent light tank L60 before World War II. It was one of the tank advanced countries, not to say the top of the world tank development. However, during the fierce tank battles of World War II, the tanks of the great powers were making rapid progress at a speed that was incomparable to what they were before the war. The weapon to be explained this time is the Swedish army medium tank, STRV.M42. Fortunately, Sweden remained neutral and did not get involved in the war. On the other hand, it also missed the trend of tank development in the world. Of course, the same army did not sit idle, and the weight of other countries was increasing. In order to compete with tanks, we thought we needed a 20T class medium tank in addition to the existing light tanks. However, it was difficult to buy tanks from foreign countries during the war. The same army has its eyes on the medium tank Lago that was being developed for export to Hungary. This tank was an advanced version of the L60, but was never adopted. The army decided to proceed with the development of a new medium tank based on the body of Largo. In line with the trend of the times, the main gun is equipped with the army's first 75mm gun, and what was developed in 1942 is this STRV.M42. Equipped with a 34 caliber 75mm tank gun Con M41 on the main gun, this was newly developed by Bofors in the same country. It fires armor-piercing bullets at an initial speed of 570 meters per second and has a penetration power of 68 mm at a shooting distance of 1000 meters. This is the same performance as the 75mm tank gun M3 equipped by the American M4 Sherman. Compared to German and Soviet tanks, the gun length is shorter and the anti-armor power is inferior. It is said that this was because the army had not experienced full-scale anti-tank combat. The design of this car can be said to be an expanded and developed version of the L60, and the appearance is similar. Both the hull and turret are made up of welded joints of armor plates like the former. The maximum armor thickness for both the hull and turret is 55mm in the front, and although neither is old-fashioned vertical armor, it paled in comparison to tanks of the great powers, which did not have pronounced sloped armor. This car is equipped with two inline six-cylinder liquid-cooled gasoline engines 320 horsepower. It has a top speed of 42 km per hour and a range of 230 km. This engine is equipped with two that were installed in the late model of L60, other suspensions were modern ones inherited from the former. This car was developed in February 1942, but they needed a tank as soon as possible. The army ordered 100 cars as early as November 1941 during development. After that, orders were added and the total production number was 282 cars. It was deployed in the heavy tank company of the same army tank brigade. However, this car, which had already become obsolete during the war, was destined to be retired sooner or later. As soon as the Centurion was introduced in the 1950s, it was withdrawn from the front line. However, for the army, which specializes in refurbishing old vehicles, this vehicle is no exception. Based on the French AMX-13, it was reborn as a new tank with a reinforced main gun, and STRV.74 adopted in 1958 continued operation until the 1980s. Even after retirement, it was not scrapped and was diverted as a defensive turret for the fortress position. Thank you for watching.